Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. In this video, we want to add some components into our collection view cell. So let's come over to our main storyboard over here. So I'm going to just zoom in a little bit over here. So I want to just expand this uh, collection view cell. Okay, maybe I'll zoom out a little bit. And then I want to make it something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect, all right, guys. So I think uh, if your collection uh, view cell is looking something like that, it should be good. So we want to add in a stack view. So let's click on the plus button over here and let's bring in a stack view. We want to bring in a vertical stack view. So let's just drag the vertical stack view into the collection view cell. And then what we want to do is to set up some auto layout over here. So we want to pin this uh, uh, on the leading and the trailing, we want to set this as zero. Okay, we don't want to specify the height. Uh, okay, and I think these are the two constraints that we want to add. Okay, so let's hit the add two constraints uh, button over here. And then we want to align this vertically in the container. So let's just check this one over here and hit on the one add one constraint. Okay, so right now uh, you're going to see some red lines uh, and this is expected because uh, it doesn't have any elements inside yet. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is to bring in a UI view. So let's uh, filter this by UI view. And let's drag this into the stack view over here. And then I want to add some constraints for this view. So let's click on the uh, control button on your keyboard. Click on this and just drag and release. So this panel pops up and it allows us to specify the width, the height and the aspect ratio. So let's select the aspect ratio, okay? So when we do that, uh, notice that the red lines have gone away and we have kind of specified some kind of ratio uh, for this uh, UI view that we have just uh, added, okay? So we want to change this to be a one to one because we want this to appear as a square so let's click on the size inspector over here and let's edit this uh, property over here let's click on the edit button and then for the multiplier let's just change this to one to one and i believe you should see a square over here all right so the next thing i want to do is to just change the color so that it's uh, easy to to differentiate so maybe let's go with uh i don't know maybe let's go with the uh system yellow color okay let's choose this one and then we want to bring in another UI view as well. So let's click on the plus button and let's bring in a UI view. So I want this view to be at the bottom of this uh, yellow view. So I'm going to release this. Again, you see the red lines uh, again because uh, we have not specified the constraints. Uh, not to worry, we will fix them. Uh, we will fix it uh, now. So let's click on the add button again and let's bring in a UI label. So I'm going to drag the UI label into this uh, white color UI view, okay? So we want to add some um, auto layout over here. So let's click on this button and then we're going to do uh, 24 from the top, uh, maybe 36 from, from the sides and 24 from the bottom as well. Okay, I think they should be fine. So add for constraints. All right, now you should uh, see that the white, uh, sorry, the red lines should have gone away because we have specified the constraints over here. And uh, maybe I want to just... Uh, text align this to the center and then for the font i'm going to just change this to custom and for the font family uh, i'm going to select avenir next okay let me just make this a bit smaller so you can see okay so let's choose avenir next and then for the style maybe let's go with uh medium for the time being and for the size let's do 24 okay so uh, we can tweak this uh, subsequently and then maybe let's uh, just rename this uh, food at its best all right <laughs> pretty cheesy but it works okay next thing we want to do is to bring in a um, horizontal stack view because we want to lay out some buttons at the bottom okay so let's click on the plus button over here and let's uh, filter this by stack view and let's select the um, vertical stack view sorry the horizontal stack view let's drag this into the bottom below the cell okay guys if you're having trouble uh, trying to position this below the view the way you could do that is to actually just put this here as well okay I can just release this here. So right now I have this uh, stack view over here, this horizontal, uh, this horizontal stack view. So let's bring in some components as well. So maybe let's uh, bring in a UI button and let's drag the button into this uh, stack view, okay? So now, um, this button we want to add some uh, auto layout so let's click on this and maybe for the height let's go with uh, maybe 56 okay so we only want the height constraint let's click on the add one constraint over here and then uh, i want to change the font for this button to uh, again avenir next 
all right and then uh, maybe for the style medium and for the size we can do 24 okay and then let's rename this button to get started all right okay and then we want to change the color of this text to white so let's find white color and then uh, for the button uh, sorry for the background color let's select uh, maybe a system green color all right so this is looking fine right now okay so we want to have some padding on each side right now so what we can do is uh, let's just expand this stack view over here and i'm going to bring in a ui view so let's filter by ui view and then i'm going to bring in this view on top of this button over here and i want to duplicate this view so i'm going to hold on to the alternate button on my keyboard click on this view and just bring it to the bottom as well so we should see um, whoops why is this happening okay i think this is fine i think we just need to change some of the properties over here all right so for this view i want to uh, maybe um, add some constraints again again click on this hold on to the control button on your keyboard drag and uh, let's select uh, aspect ratio over here so uh so for the aspect ratio i want to do something like uh maybe one to two let's see yeah one to two looks fine okay and for the second view i'm going to do the same as well hold on to the control button click on it and drag release it select the aspect ratio uh, and then let's come to the property oh, sorry the size inspector and then we want to change the multiplier to be one to two as well all right so now we get a nice padding over here so guys i will now run the simulator to see what we have done so far hopefully it should look okay <laughs> let's see All right, so this is how it's looking right now. If I scroll, uh, we see this. Okay, so guys, I, it's a little bit distracting. So maybe why not let's remove the red uh, background as well as the blue, the blue background on the cell itself. So let's come to the onboarding view controller. Let's scroll down to the cell for row, cell for item add uh, function. And then let's remove this entire uh, piece over here. Okay, we no longer need this anymore as well as this one over here. Okay, let's remove this. And then let's uh, click on the play button to rerun the simulator. And uh, hopefully this should appear fine. Okay. So um, I want to do something over here. Okay, maybe I'll do that in the subsequent videos. All right, guys, this is all I have for you in this video. I'll see you in the next one.